and welcome to another episode of Lex Education, the comedy science podcast where comedian me, Laura Lex, tries to learn science from her nerdy non-comedian brother Ron. Hello, I'm Ron. I live in Bristol and do running and play the guitar. I love science. Now, you're going to be shocked to hear this, but Ron's not in the room with me today. Yes, I am, Laura. Listen, it's me. Very believable, Ron. Um, yes, Ron, and you sound divine, may I say. You sound smarter this week. Thank you, Laura. I've got an imagination this week instead of being a small ball of grumpy science knowledge and eye-rolling. Well, Ron, I'm loving this change in attitude, but listen, we have to come clean and tell the listeners it's just me doing an impression of you. No, no, you've been doing the impression for so long now that I've grown sentience and now I'm a separate personality. Whoa, this is going to be hard to live with. So now I have a brother Ron and a version of Ron that's also partly me. Yes, good luck getting to sleep now. You already had too many intrusive thoughts and now some of them are mine. This is weird. Um, It is, but it's, it's literally all you. I'm not here. Oh God, now you're talking about your real self via... Hello and welcome to another episode of Lex Education. Ron's not here. It's entirely my fault. We were scheduled to record last night, late, 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 and I got very tired and didn't. And now we do not have time because I have to go to Wales and we'll be on a boat uh, with no internet and no... Well, we'll be rocking. You can't put a microphone on something that rocks, can you? Well, I suppose you could in the boat that rocked. They all had microphones. It was a radio sort of situation. Um, I quite liked that film, but I think it was pretty problematic, wasn't it? I don't know. Haven't watched it in years. Um, anyway, uh, Ron is also off uh, off gallivanting, so he's not around this weekend. So I'm just doing a little intro on my own today um, to it, it, welcome you to the podcast. Um, it's uh, it's a fun episode this week. It's the same room episode. You've got both ends of the spectrum. You've got no Ron, and then you've got me and Ron in the same room, which is always my favourite ones to record. And if we could just maybe start like a change.org petition to get Ron to move back to Brighton or to, um, I don't know, upend the country so that it was possible for me to live in Bristol. Or maybe we could both like move to Swindon, half waysies. That would be terrible for everybody. We don't want to do that. Um, but the same room episodes are always the most fun. Now, what? What a segue, Laura. Well done, Laura. You're so much better at doing this on your own than I am. Hey, Ron, don't beat yourself up. It's 15 years of being in show business. What we call it, show business, what you do. No, good point, Ron. But listen, live performance. Anyway, speaking of live shows, you may have seen on social media, but you may have not. You might have a life where you don't go on social media very much. And, and if that's you, well done. What a healthy decision. One, you listen to this. Two, you don't spend your life on social media. And for that, we applaud you. Uh, but if you haven't seen, we are going to be doing a live show. Hooray! We did one in February this year that was a lot of fun at the Leicester Festival at the Black Horse in Aylston. And we have one more live show this year and it is at the Cheerful Earful Festival in Balham in at the Bedford in South London. Um, we played it last year. Last year we were in the small room and tickets sold out within about two days, which was so exciting. So we've bumped up to the bigger room this year. Um, so we need you to not leave us with egg on our face is please uh we need you to come we need you to buy tickets and come along it is at 5 p.m on sunday the 20th of october tickets are on sale now uh we will link to them all over our social media or if you go to cheerful uk, you'll be able to pick up your tickets there there's loads and loads of good stuff on the lineup um pappies are on um zoe lyons is there who else is on olga Koch, Gronje. Um, 
all sorts of things. Uh, Neurodivergent Moments, we love that podcast with Joe Wells and Abigail Shalman. Um, I think that's Esther Minito's face just passing me by on the website. Is that Esther and Lily's? Yes. So all sorts of funky podcasts you could see a whole day. And obviously, we love a lab rat meetup. So please um, come if you can. That is the 20th of October at 5 p.m. Um, and we're very excited to be in the big room. It's a really cool room and it's a lovely pub. We had a great time last year. Um, in fact, was that our first live show? No, the London Podcast Festival was our first live show. Um, and uh, we're not doing that one this year because uh, we didn't sell enough tickets. <laughs> anyway, um, so enjoy this episode. It's, uh, well, it's a boring subject, but I think we have a great time in it. So I think you're going to enjoy it. And I'll catch you afterwards. Do you think we could do uh, less into a metronome? No. No. And I don't want to try. <laughs> I can't concentrate as it is. Perfectly in time science. Perfectly in time science. All right, that's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Just try not to get quiet. Turn the match right on. <laughs> All right, seance episode. It's seance science. We're sitting on the floor of the attic with a blanket and the microphone between us, semi cross legged, except my foot's already gone numb. Mm. Uh, lots of w- distractions. Lots of just dist- lots of technical troubles, and it's a weird time of day for us to record. Yeah, late afternoon. Mm, we don't often record at this time. I'm a bit buzzed because I've just got to go to work in a minute, so I'm like boo 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 boo. Bow. I've had an awful day at work, so I'm whatever the opposite of buzzed is. Desible. What do you call a French travelling garden man with a good sense of rhythm? Um, hang on. <laughs> French? Sorry. Hang on, uh, let, me, let me make a note of this. <laughs> I need to see if I have to cram in here. French? A French travelling garden, garden gnome. Gnome. Garden gnome. Garden man. Garden man is what you said the first time, but is yeah. he a gnome or is he a man? He's a French travelling garden man. Okay. With a good sense of rhythm. I can't believe you haven't got this yet. Um, rhythm has your two hips moving. Okay. Um, mm. It's so obvious, Ron. You're going to be so angry. Hang on. Um. Listeners are screaming, <laughs> screaming wherever they are, in cars, on trains, walking down the road. All I've S- got is there, <laughs> clap over there. <laughs> <laughs> so he's travelling over there, but I haven't gotten any garden into it. <laughs> it's a metronome, Ron. A metronome. The metro is the name of the underground in Paris. Garden? Garden gnome. But then why did you say garden man? You made me think Because I was trying not to say gnome, and then I said gnome by accident, and I thought, well, I'll get it now, because I've said gnome. <laughs> not there, there a clapper. <laughs> no, not there, there a clapper, no. Got there metronome. There a clapper, there, there a clapper. Dormez-vous. Uh, no, just, met- just metronome, really. <laughs> okay. I was thinking metronome. I wonder if anyone did get that. I think everybody did. Absolutely everybody got that. I don't know if metro, French to metro is lickety split. Ah, uh, maybe. I'm not very good at doing clues the other day. <laughs> we were doing a quiz and I uh, and one of the questions was something like, who's the bad guy in the pantomime of Aladdin? And Tom didn't know, so I gave him a clue. <laughs> and my clue was... His surname could be Scrooge, because the character was called Abanaza. <laughs> Abanaza Scrooge. <laughs> Panic, uh, Abanaza Scrooge. <laughs> 
Yeah, he did not get it. <laughs> no, no, I shouldn't have thought he would. <laughs> Abanaza Scratch. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. Hmm. Uh-uh. Okay, <laughs> there, <laughs> there. Giddy! We did a magic draft last night, Ron. We did. The Outlaws of Thunder Mountain. Yeah. We both made... You made a very good deck. I made an okay deck. Tom made a very good deck. Robin made a terrible deck. Yeah, Orange Next Door. Oof. Friend of the podcast. Bully him. Bully yeah. him about how bad his draft deck was. And how much he looks like Danny Dyer. <laughs> have you never noticed that before? Have I not pointed this yeah, out Yeah, I think you have, yeah. 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 Um, you had a good fun playing with Child of the Podcast. Yeah. Child of the Podcast has inexplicably chosen quite an Italian pronunciation. Ron. Ron. Where is my Ron? My Ron. Lots of people, again, on social media this week saying you don't look like your voice. Hmm. It makes me laugh because I think one, of course, you look like your voice. You should said look, this in the last. I episode. know you too much, but also, what were they expecting? We say all the time, "You're me with a beard." Yeah, I think we had this conversation in the intros, outros to the last. Ah, episode. that was weeks ago. Shut up, Ron. No, it was literally last week. We're Can so you behind. Weed? I wish. Uh, it's my wedding anniversary today. Yeah, and you're like, high as a kite, <laughs> you, you goofy stoner. Woo! You and you and my husband celebrate my wedding anniversary without me because I've got to go to work. Yeah, we're probably going to play more magic. We're probably going to watch Sirens Control the Iron yeah. or whatever that's called. Sirens Control yeah, the Iron. Yeah, I accidentally irons. rhymed it. Oh, I thought you were doing a racist bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know any Korean stereotypes to be racist about, I think. I know no. that their language is easy to learn. Is it? Well, the, the the alphabet's easy to learn. Huh. Apparently, like, you can... Like, once you know the alphabet, you can speak the language very fast. <laughs> yeah, because I think it was designed. Like, it's one of the few, like, designed ones. So, like, someone sat down and they, they were like, we're going to make this easy. Oh. So there's, like, consistent rules to it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Apparently, you can learn how to read the alphabet in, like, 15 minutes or something. Lush. Yeah. What else? Um, the Korean... only Korean stuff I know in popular culture is Kim's Convenience and... The Korean The War. Koreans Mash. in Gilmore Girls. Oh, uh, Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I suppose mash, but that doesn't really tell you much about Korea, I don't think, does it? It's way more about Americans killing Koreans. Yeah, yeah. or trying some of I them guess, yeah. saving. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, lots. It's Kim is a, a common Korean name. Yeah, I think they do names the other way around there. Oh, so like when someone's called like Kim something, Kim is the surname, and yeah, they're not okay. all called Kimberly. Is Korea where everybody has the same birthday? South Korea? Oh, I've heard of a place like that. <laughs> All right, Lloyd Grace. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, though. But there's a place, isn't there? I can't remember who I was discussing this with the other They all day. get older at On the, the first of day. the year. Yeah. And also they start, they're born one. Yeah. Wherever this place is. Hmm. Well, if you know, let us know. Are you Korean? Have we got any Korean listeners? I've never checked the stats to see if anyone listens in Korea. No. I'll have a look before next week. Yeah. Put it in the notes. Either Korea. Yeah. I bet we're huge in North Korea. Yeah. Probably. Can you smell weed? I think so, but it might be my perfume. Is it your stony, stony husband? He doesn't really get stoned these days. No. He used to in his youth. Physics recap. Woo! So big problemo with these like um, uh, these recap episodes that we've been doing. Yeah. I never write down how far we get. Ron. 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 My Ron. Wait. My. Ron-a. I think she might because like mum and dad both single syllables and then she goes mama dada. But she doesn't. Know. She goes yeah. dad. Yeah, but she started saying she was saying dada earlier. She was saying daddy, I think. Uh, by the way, I think she might think that Ron is just like another one of these titles. Yeah. So like, my mum, my Ron, my yeah, mama. Maybe. Hi, mama. But Hi, she does Rona. know that we are called Tom and Laura. Yeah. But she doesn't call you that. No. She might. Yeah, until she starts that. sassing me. Yeah. She already sasses you every day. She does. Yeah. She. She's rude. <laughs> 
pulls your buttons really easily. Yeah, but that's okay. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. It's a good job you take it so well. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so sad about that broken pressure washer. I was going to pressure wash so much stuff today. Yeah, it's Maybe odd. Get a new one tomorrow. Uh, don't lie on the floor. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm so uncomfortable. I, yeah. hate, I hate sitting on the yeah, floor. Yeah, it's really horrible. Maybe if I sit. If you like hadn't this. thrown the fucking chair in the bin, though, we wouldn't have this problem. Maybe if you didn't let chairs go mouldy in your house. Buy me a new chair. I gave you a chair. It's, it's downstairs, downstairs in the study where you use it. There's another one down there. Bring it up here then. No. Well then, shut up. It's lounging about on the floor like a creep. I have to lounge. 6.2.1.4 resistors. Now, Laura, this was Ugh. boring the first time we did it. It was boring maybe when we did it last physics recap. It's going to be boring today. Um, we talked... I know that we recapped parallel and in series circuits. Wait, though, we? I found my notebook now, so it might go better. Oh. Uh, hang on. Ugh. Resistors. I like resistors. I do recall. They hold back energy in circuits, voltage and all. What do you think about that? Series and parallel. Is that where we got to? What were you singing then? I don't remember. I don't recall. I have no memory of anything. Uh, it's Peter Gabriel. Oh, I thought you were doing a, I don't like cricket. Oh, and no. then trying to cram a lot into the, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I got no memory. Okay, I think I found where we are. E pink. E boop, e boop, e boop, e boop. Pigeon made of beans. <laughs> what are these notes? All right, okay, go. Test me. So, what, uh, talk me through what parallel and series means. Bananas in pyjamas is C parallel series. <laughs> Come on. Um, pa so, series is just one circle with stuff on it going around in a circuit. Parallel is a series of circuits. Confusing, actually, to use the word series <laughs> in the description of how... Parallel circuits are multiple circuits that all share a portion of the same circuit but have other branches that do not go on the same track if you were running round it or banana if you were a banana. Does it apply to a whole circuit always? What? The, the terms parallel and in series. Uh, well, I think technically a parallel series is lots of... Circuit series, series circuit. Stop saying series. <laughs> You're saying series a lot. Yeah. Like every other word at the moment yeah, yeah, is series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all just tied together. What? The circuits. What circuits? The ones we're discussing. Michael and <laughs> I don't Abraham. Think you've answered the question. What was the question? Does parallel series in the series does that apply to a whole circuit? No, to the features on the circuit. Yes, take it further, because... Because... It could let in a child! <laughs> Mr. Water News! Um, <laughs> uh, because they have some things in common. What and the rest of the circuit's not really a thing, is it? It's the motorway, whereas the stuff is the buildings. They are the circuit. Who? The what? guys. <laughs> the, the buildings. The own guy and the battery and the light bulb. So I think what you're trying to say is that different things, like, yeah, parallel and in series and stuff, describe relationships between different <gasps> things in We should get you a lingo to sponsor this podcast and you could learn fluent Lex education. Yeah, that would be fun. Sad boys means electrons. <laughs> Sad boys won three apples. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that means zinc is making a covalent bond with magnesium. Boop, 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 loo, loo, doo, doo, doo. And why would that never happen? Because they're both metals. Actually, because either of them is a metal. Yeah. Yeah. Still got the high five, though. Yeah. 
Um, cool, so we'll blow through that. Yeah, we did that last time, I'm pretty sure. We'll breeze through that, breeze through that. Um, so, Laura. One. Do you remember, slash is it in your notes, how current is affected by being in series or in parallel? current would be reduced in parallel because it's got to go in different directions whereas in series it's just running in one race yep so what can you say about the current going through two things that are in series it is halved that's, that's not what you just said in series in it series. is a hundred percent it's the same it's the same yes <laughs> <laughs> What about in parallel? If 50% in each of the tracks. Would it be 50%? No. What would the defining thing be that defines how much current goes down each parallel banana? How do you how do you work out what the current is? Don't look at me, look at the book. <laughs> <laughs> the book has nothing in it. Mm. There it is, the V V I R. Uh, Ron, these are not helpful notes. I just pointed out which bit on that page it was. V equals I times R? What does V stand for? Voltage. What does the I mean? Current. What does the R mean? Resistance. So? Voltage equals current times resistance. Yeah. Yes. What defines the voltage in a circuit? The current and the resistance. No. Yes, voltage equals current times resistance. Well, that's how you work it out. Well, but... that must be what defines it then. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I was like saying falafel equals chickpeas blended up. What defines falafel? Chickpeas. No. No, that's not true. That's like saying that... Like the more the the bigger the falafel, the longer you have to cook it for. That's like saying that the length of cook time makes the falafel bigger. It does. No, it doesn't. Things expand when they're hot. Not infinitely. No. And not falafel. <laughs> <laughs> not infinitely and not falafel. Good day to you, sir. I will have my hat back. Abanada scratch. Abanada scratch. <laughs> What clue would you give to get someone to guess the name Abanaza? Abanaza. Nas. It's Nas that's quite hard. <laughs> uh, Khalees' ex husband? Who's Khalees? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're oh, like, it's hell. better than yours. Na oh, Nas, the rapper, man. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, they might still be married. I don't know why I've divorced them. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, so, but what makes... What, what changes the resistance in a circuit? Cut that. <laughs> uh, what changes the resistance in the circuit? Resistors. And items. Items. Like bulbs. Yes. Things. Yeah. Yeah. So, not the voltage and the current, which is what you said last time. Kind of is. No. So, bit of current going down circuit comes to a branch in the road, i.e. two bits that are in parallel. One of them's spooky and dark, and the other has rainbows and bunnies. Which way, Philippe? Yes. Oh, this way. It'll be a shortcut. And then they get attacked by wolves. And then your daughter has to go and live in a castle with a beast. No! Then they sing. They sing ah, nicely. I love you love... in the snow, hairy man. And there's a lovely library. Oh. And some sexy dusters. Mm, dusters. <laughs> oh, come over here, Mr. Duster. <laughs> and there's a man at the village who... Oh, hello. I'm an evil man. He eats eggs and he's a misogynist. But is there, like... <laughs> was he evil, evil? Yeah, he tries to kill the beast. 
Yeah, he kills a beast. Run! He didn't know that the Roma. beast was a man. He didn't know that the beast was a man. She still can't just kill a beast. We used to kill beasts all the time. It wasn't okay. Is it still recording? I'm just paranoid. Yeah. You, you can't, you can't. Yeah, but I think the beast is quite humanoid. You can't just kill humanoid beasts. Um, I think back in Beauty Beast days, Also, he's like, he tries to, ki- he kidnaps Belle's dad. That's pretty evil. That's the kind of thing I was asking for. There you go. I just think if there's a horned monster running around in the forest, capered or not... It's not hurting anyone. Yeah, but you don't know if it's going to hurt someone. Ron, this is getting down bad lines. You can't lock everybody up in case they hurt someone because they look a bit not dodgy. Not everyone, but beasts. Yeah, but you'd be the first one locked up. You look like an absolute fucking beast. Yeah, but... like. I'm not a beast. <laughs> well, that's what the beast thinks. I look like the halfway point. The beast is also not a beast in his heart once he's in love. No, but, like, I also think that, like, in a different world, that story might have been the story of heroic Gaston, who worked out all his days, locked up an old man. <laughs> we'll, get, <laughs> we'll put the elder abuse on the sidelines for now. <laughs> Save the village from an invention blowing be, its guy high. Yeah, he could be an anti-hero. Kind of gave free psychiatric help. Paid for the psychiatric help of an old man. Yeah. And he's got his little pug man, Theroux, or whatever. Le Fou. <laughs> Louis Theroux's in it. Yeah, hanging out. My, yeah, yeah. Problems. elder abuses. See, that's kind of neat for a Disney villain. But that was the best mental health care they had back then. Locking up old men. In an asylum, because it's an asylum keeper he sells them to. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> so we can take that one off as well. So what did he actually do? Apart from love someone. <laughs> he didn't love her. He just wanted her as a trophy wife. Even though there's three blonde girls on a bench who are readily available. Yeah, but he's had them. Probably. Oh, no. <laughs> Those poor little cartoon hymens. <laughs> um, That's pretty horrific. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? I'm it, glad you got two of them. Yeah. Well, They're actually quite cool awards that I won, but the actual awards are so horrible. Yeah. Yeah. You should put those up in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> They're up here with all the other ugly stuff. Yeah. Mama? No, get down, please. Get down. Not safe. Get down, please, darling. Good girl. Come on, sweetheart. Good girl. Thank you. Good girl, baby. So what were we talking about? A fork in the road. Gaston. A fork in the road, yeah. So a bit of... time. And you're like, somebody was eating noodles (laughs) here. But they've gone with the noodles and only left the fork. Is that a Beauty and the Beast reference? No, it's a reference finding a fork lying in a road. Right, <laughs> right, right. Giddy! Giddy! Um, Please don't pull the wool out of my blanket. That's just the boblets. I don't like this blanket. Can I pull the wool out of it then? No. Um, it's because this room is never a good temperature. It's always hot or freezing. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect for mould. <laughs> it's high down. It's the opposite of a mole room because it's at the top. Moles it's a mould. Oh, God, yeah. Well, look at the state of the window. That's mouldy. A lot of cob- cobbers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't clean up here very really. No. no, you didn't get your cleaner to come up here. No, I don't make somebody come up here. Poor woman. She was nice. She was nice. Yeah. She can come again. <laughs> It's uncomfortable being in someone else's house while they've got a cleaner. Oh, it's uncomfortable being in your own house when the cleaner's there. Yeah, but then at least like you're like, this is a this is a social contract we've arranged. Yeah. Whereas I was like, kind of colleagues, so I'm just working too. Not colleagues, because you don't work for me. I do. I do this. You get paid more than me to do this. That's how businesses work. <laughs> someone pays someone else to do a thing. I'm not paying you. You are paying me. How am I paying you? The patrons are paying you. Yeah, customers. That's there how are business patrons works. Yeah, but I'm not the boss. 
There you are. No, I'm not. You're always telling me what to do. That's because you don't do anything. <laughs> I do stuff. We're supposed to be partners. If you just did it of your own accord... You're in charge of social media. I'm in yeah, charge of Yeah, but every content. week I have to casually go, hey, any clips this week? That's not true. Not every week. And what? Mm. But even the weeks where you've done them, you've put them somewhere weird. I always put them in the episode folder. Can you put them in the list I asked you to put them in so that I know they're there? No. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know why that's better. Because otherwise I don't know how to plan the week of social media stuff. But I upload the episode and I upload the clips at the same time all into the folder. Not always. Not always. No one's saying always. What I said was not <laughs> never. <laughs> okay, not never. But I'd say one in ten times. No, that's hog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Two in five, at least. Absolutely not. <sighs> <sighs> anyway. <laughs> We come to a fork in the road. Yes, a, no, a lovely bit of current comes to a fork oh, in the road. Yeah. It's you. So your your original hypothesis was that fifty percent was going to go down each branch. Mm-hmm. What if there's three branches? Whoa, thirty three point three 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 recurring. But no. No. So we know what defines the current. I times R. No. <laughs> Defines the current. I equals R. In the circuit, what make? Let's imagine there's a battery. battery. The battery makes the voltage happen, right? The potential difference. Yeah. So then, and we've already said that the the resistance is done by the bits in the circuit. Yeah. Yeah. So. Ron, you've moved so far away from the microphone. What did I say when we did the sound test? I said, that's okay, but you can't get any further away than that. No, you said I couldn't get quiet. You're getting further away, which is quiet. Sit back up. Sit I hate to sit on the floor. Well, then don't throw people's chairs in the bin. I only threw the back away. (laughs) (laughs) So we know that the voltage is set by the battery. Sit up. Stop shouting. <laughs> we, well, we can't do this like this. You are lying down far away from the microphone. I think it's fine. See? Oh, maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> so. Fucking hell. Tom Holland never lies down to his podcast. Tom Holland? Yeah. Not Spider Man. <laughs> Another man. You're listening to fucking <laughs> Zendaya cast or something. <laughs> Yeah, I just love Tom and Z- I love Tom Zaya. Tom Tom Manda. Zen Nanda. Tom Hollander. Now I've listened to a podcast with Tom Hollander on it. That like grumpy actor? Yeah. I don't know anything about him really, apart from that my day thing that he wrote that went viral. He was in Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, but that doesn't tell you anything about him. Yeah. What does it tell you? No, I'm agreeing, yeah. Oh. So why are you so keen to listen to his podcast? I think it would You don't be... even listen to our podcast. I do, sometimes, if I haven't edited it. Didn't last week, did you? No, because you hadn't edited it. Still haven't. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so. laughs> Fucking fork in the road, Ron. Can we just cover this? Otherwise we're going to yeah. be... So the voltage Jesus. is set by the battery. We've, we've already said that the resistance is set by the stuff in the circuit. So bit of current comes to a fork in the road, what's going to happen? It'll get pulled to what needs it. Kind of, yeah. So the resistance of the different bits in circuit, in in parallel rather, are going to define how much current goes down each bit. Yeah. So let's say that there's, on one bit of parallel circuit, there's eight buzzers and a twinkly D and nine light bulbs. And on the other side, there's just one light bulb. What's going to happen? More current will go down the eight buzzers and a twinkly D. Unless it's a really powerful light bulb and they're really weak buzzers. Is that true? No. <laughs> it's not true. Look at the look at the 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 formula. I squared. Why are you saying that? I don't know. I glanced at the page. Look at the formula. Which formula? The one that calculates current. 
I equals V over R. Yeah, so if R gets bigger, i.e. more resistance, i.e. twinkly Ds and light bulbs, yep. what's going to happen to I? Smaller. Yeah, so less current. Why do you look so bewildered? We just worked it out. Because it just seems weird to me that to power more things you have less current. But what's the definition of current? I don't know. Flow of charge. Flow of charge. Yeah, so it just means it's going slower down there, probs. Oh. I think. Right. I don't know. Maybe not affected by the speed, actually. I don't really know how any of this works. I find it all quite dull. Yeah. Oh, we've been recording it. Bloody hell, half an hour, Harry. Woof. Um, the sum of the current across all the bits in parallel will equal the total current. There's a tidbit for you. Tidbit! Um, the total resistance of two resistors in parallel is less than the individual resistance of the smallest resistor. This sounds like some sort of, like, piece of wisdom that you would find in a book. I guess it is, <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, valid. Oh, so boring. Yeah. I can't believe we're doing it again. Can you say that back to me? Two resistors next to each other are less resisting than a single resistor. Yup. All right. Well, why would you ever have two resistors then? If you actually bought a too powerful resistor. Lesson learned. I don't think you get any of this, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I don't think you understand. <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> I think I do Because I think in your head You've got a wire And then it's going to split off into bits that are in parallel And then join back up again And I think you think That's the point <laughs> It's like, ooh, it split it all up And ooh, it's being resisted <laughs> I don't really know why it's called resistance That's confusing, I think Why? What's it resisting? The yeah, flow of charge. Current. But then why? Why is it resisting them? What do you mean? Why do you want to resist the flow of charge? Well, for some, you know, you might have delicate components in a circuit that can't take that much current. But then you say that the components are also resisting. Yeah, they also have resistance to them. So, twofold, like why we learn about it like this. One, resistors do exist in circuits to limit the amount of current going down a bit. And stuff like that. Because if you think about it, every single thing in a country is plugged into the wall and gets the same amount of stuff coming out of it. You know, whether it's a twinkly D or a light bulb, but they don't all need that. So then you have to have a bit of the circuit that sorts out and gets the right amount of power going in. OK? OK. Point number two, why we learn about it like this, is because of exactly um, what you just said. Everything that you put in a circuit has a certain amount of resistance that it will put on the circuit. So if you're going to go on to be a circuit person, um, <laughs> an electrician, yeah, um, you have to, or, or a circuit maker, you have to understand that when you put the twinkly D in there, that's going to have an effect. I'd hope if you were going on to be an electrician, though, there'd be more training than this. Yes, but this is GCSE, so you just kind of get started and then you sort of work out what you want and then you have a life. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's becoming an electrician after listening to this podcast. Somebody might. Yeah, I think we should nominate someone. I love rewiring plugs. Yeah, I like. I'm. There are lots of schools in Somerset that I did all the wiring for. All the ones that are currently on fire. Da 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 da. Okay, six point two point three domestic uses and safety. Okay. Main current is AC. Do you know what that means? Alternating current. What's the other way? Direct current, yep. DC. Well, how many volts in the UK? 130. How many hertz? 80. No. Was I right with 113? Oh, no, I wasn't listening. It's 213. <laughs> <laughs> 
16 hertz. No, it's 50 hertz. 50 hertz. What's hertz? Sometimes. <laughs> hertz. A Gavina? Yes. Hertz. Sausages? Sog. Werner Herzog? Yeah, that's a thing. What is Hertz? Is Hertz the slide depth? No. I haven't mentioned Hertz in the notes anywhere. Hertz. What's Hertz? Oh, 50 Hertz. Frequency. Hertz is frequency. <laughs> <coughs> Don't do that. Um, yes, it's the SI unit of frequency. Standard. In Standard the... international. International. Ron. Ron. Uh, so that means. What does that mean in terms of well, what does AC that mean? current? It's alternating currently at fifty amps per second. What does that mean? <laughs> I was trying to get all of the words into a sentence. And that's part of your problem, isn't it? What does alternating current mean? What's alternating about it? The electrons. Do what? <laughs> I don't know. Swing? Swing where? I don't know. Around the wire? <laughs> what, like this? <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. No. <laughs> there you go, back and forth. <coughs> Where? In the wire. Oh. Up and down or lengthways? Depends what the wire the wire is. Oh, okay. Along the wire. Along the whole length of it. Up and down it. Well back and forth. But oh that okay. And they change direction fifty times a second. Whoa. It's very fast. Yeah. I couldn't do that. <laughs> no. Um, that's that bit. Nice. 6.2.3.2. I've got three minutes. Oh, let's fuck it off then. No. No. Do it in three minutes. 6.2.3.2, mains electricity. They have three core cables. What are the colours and what do they do? Earth, wind, fire. They fight badness. Do you remember? Being in the and and it's in December. Um, it's earth wire, which is brown. Uh -uh. Green and yellow. It's green and yellow. Yep. Live wire is Just brown. Just like the earth. Live wire is blue. Uh -uh. Live wire is brown. Yep. Neutral wire is blue. Yes, yes. And what do those three things do? Earth wire is like a safety thing for if there's an overcharge of electricity, it like pooms it into the ground so no one gets hurt. Yep. Live wire carries the current. Yep. Neutral... I don't know. Completes the circuit. Makes chocolate and um, hides money in good banks. Mmm, Switzerland humour. Yeah. Uh, neutral completes the circuit. You complete me. And that's the recap. We did amazing work there, Ron. Yeah, when we, once we got our shit together. It was alright, wasn't it? <laughs> now time to pull our shit apart again. See you in the outro. Ooh. Oh, it won't be floor by then. That'll be nice. Yeah, I hate this. Mm. See so you do this again tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Fuck. You're the one that has to stop recording yeah, today. Okay. Class dismissed. No. There you go, you tiny legends. How much did you love that? Same room episodes, they're just always better, aren't they? And hey, here's an idea. If more of you joined the, the Patreon, um, what should we call this one? Like a bargaining one? Let's call this bargaining, and I'll message Ron to tell him to put that on the old spreader. If, if we had a good amount of patrons, we could afford to um, travel to do same room episodes more often. Like, we could clear a day and go, hey, this is a paid job. Let's meet up and do same room episodes. So if you like the same room episodes and you're like, that was top quality, I loved it even more than I normally love it, get on the patron. And if, if you hated it... Um, pop round to a patron's house and tell them to cancel their Patreon. 
find out where they live and go around and say, hey, I hate the same room episodes. Stop funding them. Don't do that, please, for several reasons. One, I don't want to lose patrons. It's really sad. And two, you shouldn't go around to people's houses unless they've invited you. Even then, don't do it. Just text. <laughs> um, I want to know, did anybody get Metronome? Surely you were screaming at your headphones about Metronome. Surely you were. Were you? Were you? Were you? Oh, come on. Um, we also, I've got a fan art opportunity now. Um, possibly a good one for people who are not on social media or who haven't seen one of our videos yet. What do you think Ron looks like? Can you draw us a picture? of how you first pictured Ron or how you picture him now. Or maybe if you're not like a, a visual artist, write us a little poem or a limerick or a haiku. Throw some words together. Do one of those visual things where some words are big and some are small, you know? Do that. What does Ron look like to you spiritually, emotionally? Emotionally, it looks like a small black ball with barbed wire around it. We know that. But what does... What is Ron to you? What is Ron? Ron, it don't hurt me. He's going to be so cross when he is. I can picture his stupid little face now. I think he's on a train to Brussels. And uh, and then, oh, might be at work. I can't remember. He said he had to get up early today. I assumed it was go to Brussels. And, um, and he'll be listening to this and going, she's an idiot. <laughs> he's not wrong, but I'm not sad. Um, he's also put in the notes, do we have any Korean listeners? I think we talked about Korea in this episode. I haven't had a chance to listen yet. We're a shambles this week. The summer's hard, man. We're all over the place. Um... Are you listening in Korea? That would be fun. Hey, get in touch if you are listening from really far away from where we record. So we record in the south of England. I know we've got a few Canadian listeners. I know we've got some US listeners. Have we got anybody listening that's not in the English-speaking as a first language world? Anybody in far-flung Europe? Or I think we've got Australian listeners, and I know we've got a New Zealand listener because they came over for one of the live shows. In fact, the Cheerful Earful live show that I mentioned um, at the beginning of the episode. Let us know. I want to know where you all are. Um, right. I'm starting to feel a little bit like I'm doing hospital radio, and I have to go and pack because I have to go to Cardiff today. And um, I'm going on the train with little dog of the podcast, Mackie Dog. We're going to be staying on Agony Dad's boat. Um, I'm very excited about it, but I, I feel like I'm going to feel like a wanker when I get to the gig and everybody says, you're not in the hotel, Laura. And I say, no, I'm staying on Daddy's yacht. And it really makes me sound like a, a real twat. Um, maybe I just am one. You are, Laura. Fuck off, Ron. OK, uh, end of the episode. Thanks very much. You are the greatest listeners in in the world. Um, join our Patreon, buy tickets to Cheerful Live for, for Podcast Festival. And mostly, though, take care of yourselves. Take care of everyone around you. Do what you can to stand up for people. And um, the gift shop is open until 9pm. Class dismissed. <laughs>